Hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session in today's session we're going to be talking about using anchor charts in our day and swing trading which will dramatically improve your bottom line if you're a day or swing trader the best way of me putting this is is this as it says on the chart here as traders we're like surfers waiting for the perfect wave the perfect wave is when the lower and the higher time frames both confirm our trade now we've all heard the saying that the trend is your friend we're well, using the anchor charts ensure that you're trading with the trend trading with anchor charts will immediately ensure you're taking trades with the highest probability of success now up till now or if you're not currently using anchor charts then you'll find it will immediately enhance your profitability by using an anchor chart now as always traders this session is raw real and unedited there is no script that I'm running to so if I fluff up on the way or make a mistake you'll have to forgive me but let's go to the next slide we've all heard this that trading is really easy buy dips and sell the rallies a trend is my friend well we also know the saying the trend is your friend until it ends and this is where once again the anchor chart can have a huge impact on your bottom line and assisting you in trading profitably now before we go to the charts there's a couple of more things I want to cover uh, so I hang in there but first of all I do need to put up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading all forms of trading carries risk so please traders pause the video I won't read this out word for word but I'd like you to read the disclaimer now of course many of my members uh, of the day traders fast track program will be watching this and of course you've seen this on every one of our videos so traders if you haven't seen this before please read it now very important and I promise it's not going to be one big advertisement is a what I'm about to show you please ensure you have a pen and paper ready um, because I'm going to give you a couple of great ideas and it will have an incredible effect on your bottom line if you're not already using them now if you don't already own the day traders fast track program in the day traders fast track program I give you all of this and a whole lot more over 12 day and swing trading strategies indicators for most trading platforms but most importantly over 80 hours of online video instructions India uh, indicator settings if you don't have one of the platforms listed uh, here uh, there is no upsell by the way some people say it's all about selling a, a great coaching program rubbish for $197 traders you get to the A to Z of what I do I love what I do now even better still please subscribe to my channel visit my website and you'll be able to get I've got two uh, free ebooks now I've got um, the truth about day trading I also have a training manual you can obtain both of those free so make sure though you subscribe to my channel so let's now get to the juicy stuff here we go so um, in the day traders fast track program I teach over 12 strategies now a handful of these are what we call trend following strategies but the point I want to get across here is even though I teach over 12 strategies I think it's probably close to 17 or 18 now I say to all traders become a specialist focus on just two or three strategies until you are consistently profitable now this is applicable traders if you own my program or don't own my program or never even purchase my program or become a member I want you to become a specialist become very very good at what you do so in my program I say to traders this initially until you're consistently profitable forget counter trend trading Okay, must become a specialist and master trend trading only. Now, with the day traders fast track program, when we teach you what we call the T1, the T2, the T7 with trend, um, we we affectionately call it bet the farm trade because it's a very very high probability uh, trade. By the way, we're joking. Always stay within your money management rules. The T18, the T20, the T25, and if you're a forex trader. Uh, the rule of two on range charts works an absolute it's I mean it's just an absolute treat the rule of two um, particularly on Forex I just find it, it it works well on of course futures and stocks and 
by the way what I'm about to show you works on all markets whether you trade futures Forex or stocks it doesn't really matter and by the way that's the one of the straight one of the uh, what's the word for it I should use one of the ways of telling how good a strategy is if it only works on one market one time frame it's being curve fitted be very very cautious the best of the best strategies will work on all time frames and all markets so this is really important I think and when I'm talking about trading with the trend and trading using an anchor chart this is one of the challenges you have to wait for what we call the sweet spot now I think Jesse Livermore said this wonderfully he said the big money was never made in the buying or the selling the big made money was made in the sitting now actually sitting on your cash not having a position open is actually a position within itself and this is probably the most important thing that you need to learn in trading using an anchor chart or a higher time frame is patience you need to be patient to wait for the ideal setup so let's consider this now if a trend is present on the higher time frame then you're only going to trade in that trend direction now there are a number of opportunities or I should say options with this now you may be a pure price trader and you use little or no indicators at all well that is mighty fine now if you like using indicators and please remember that virtually every indicator is a derivative of price so therefore to actually move we need to see some action on price and usually they're lagging by one two five ten candles so you've got to remember that indicators oscillators stochastics etc they're all uh, derivatives of price however they all have their place you can still use them as a tool for an example if the trend is up you look for turns uh, from the downside from oversold areas uh, you look for them to turn up if it's down you look for them to turn down from overboard areas uh, you may use stochastics RSI CCI's of a Williams percentage R there's lots of indicators that you can actually use to help confirm a trade in the direction of the high time frame now in a moment we're going to go to the chart so I'm going to show you practically on some charts now one of my members actually sent me this little chart in and it really illustrates it beautifully the dark blue line represents your higher time frame and the little red line here with the arrows represents the shorter time frame your what we call it in our business we actually call it the anchor the uh, sorry the, uh, the anchor chart the AC and the EC the entry chart so what you're waiting for is retrace some sort of pullbacks you can see it there with the red line the green arrows here on the way up you wait for a pullback then a trend continuation now typically if you're a member watching this you know that would be your t1 trades a super scalper it would be a slingshot trade it'd be the t25 the uh, day traders um, uh, strategy okay so there's a lot of different strategies you can use for trend continuation but this is effectively what we're doing but if you start to apply this rule it will dramatically improve your bottom line another filter you may choose to incorporate is to wait until on either your entry chart that's the trading chart you use that you have a 45 degree filter that is you wait until you've got a 40 a slope of 45 degrees on your main trading EMAs uh, and even or on your anchor chart wait until you have solid trends on both you're waiting for a pullback a retracement on your entry chart and then a close over the trigger line and a trend continuation and once again we'll see this in a moment on a chart now I recorded a video last week which um, many of you may have seen called follow the gold one of the most important trading strategies that you could ever ever learn follow the gold okay it'll make a huge impact particularly when you combine it with trading with an anchor chart so just remember an anchor chart is simply using a higher time frame to assess the overall trend of the market now this also allows you to keep an eye on the bigger picture so what I want you to do is is really become a master and at the foundation of mastery lies simplicity doing just a few things spectacularly well and one of those is learning to follow the gold as I state stated in my last recording
so just before we go to the chart here's something that I have and I talk about this in every video I'm patient I'm disciplined I'm focused I'm a sniper one shot one kill I am a rules based trader now and sorry one word I left out which is critical there I'm a rules based pattern trader I trade geometric patterns that appear in the markets every day likewise when you're trading using an anchor chart uh, and waiting for what I call the sweet spot that is when you have both time frames line up say for an example we're going to look at it at the moment an oil chart and it doesn't matter whether you're Forex or Forex trader whether you're trading uh, stocks it doesn't matter what time frame for an example if you are more of a swing trader you may only have these setups once or twice a week whereas a day trader over a two or three hour period on trading CL will have the sweet spot set up at least three or four times in that time period but the point is you need to be patient you've got to wait for the setup so let's now go and have a look at the charts so let me minimize this get this out the way uh, this is actually CL and it wouldn't matter whether it was stocks would matter whether it's Forex it doesn't matter what market it is but this happens to be an 89 tick chart so uh, just for your own information for those interested so this is during the globex session or some call it the Asian session we're leading now into the um, London session in a couple of hours and so I like the 89 tick when I'm trading the New York session I trade with a 233 tick using a 610 tick chart here with the 89 tick my anchor chart is a 233 but here's what I wanted to show you now notice here uh, we're in a sideways action my main EMAs is sideways and if you look over here you've got to remember of course that we would only be seeing this that is um, what you, you can see to the right of a chart and, and naturally the, the price actions already passed so it's already set up but what you can see here traders is that here my EMAs on my anchor chart are sideways likewise the EMAs uh, sideways here what we're looking for is for a fanning of the EMAs and you can start to see my trigger line is separated from the gold follow the gold the 89 the 200 so we're now starting to get what we call a fanning here we've got uh, we do have a t2 setup right here here we've got an 89 200 B it turns into a t1 as well so we've got a couple of different entry signals there now by the way the first one uh, you would have been able to sculpt four or five ticks out of let me just confirm that high of uh, 81 let's just go to the high event I 81 okay well that's four ticks it did go up and touch five ticks which for us would have been a break-even trade um, we probably would have locked some profits in as it started to come off because it did by the way and let me just point this out for those technicians it's turned into what we call a t7 a double top with divergence so you can see that there so we would have actually got out uh, making one or two ticks but then it turns into the t1 the t1 but what I want you to notice of traders is what's happening to our EMAs is starting to fan apart notice over on the right this is where this the sweet spot is starting to set up now notice then that we're now on a very clear uptrend okay we've got um, a fanning of the EMAs and notice over here on the anchor chart they're all starting to fan now of course we've got two other indicators here we've got our stochastic and we've got my what we call my MACD platinum with this this is a called a zero lag uh, MACD we don't really refer to these or even look at those you can but really we're more interested in price action likewise traders uh, you can use these but you don't have to if you are a pure price action trader fantastic all I'm interested in is what's happening with my EMAs because it's going to to outline to me what's happening with the trend so we can see we've got multiple trade entries now if your target is to say hypothetically $200 a day per contract okay well and if you're trailing your stop you've probably already achieved it so coming along we can see here looking at our anchor chart 
okay you've got a number of pullbacks here by the way and for my members you can see we've got uh, t2s down here so you've got a whole stack of t2s which gets you back in to these trades where you don't have a retracement for a 34b etc but what you do have of course is you've got lots of t2s what we call slingshot trades now what I wanted to point out was this as we now start to hit the top Okay, a couple little things you do want to take notice of we're starting to get divergence now it doesn't mean you've got to trade divergence but you still want to understand divergence over a period of time to begin to learn what exactly divergence is because it will also keep you out of trades and that's something you want to be really cautious of is when you get divergence now another Thing too you want to really watch traders is that when you start to see price moving more and more away from the trigger line you start to get what I call angulation that is when price action angles away steeply from your EMAs uh, and also on your anchor chart and even clear separation from the trigger line that's a good signal that you're about to get what we call a snapback that is price actions you're going to have a, a reversion to the mean it's going to come back down so these are strategies that I really want you to learn because it will save you a great deal of money over a period of time when you understand those now let's see what happens so we can see we had angulation pricing started to really come off so what's happening well what we can clearly see here is that the markets very very overextended you can see you've got a lot of angulation that is you've got a, a great separation between the EMAs so guess what the sweet spot is coming to an end so we want to wait for another sweet spot now as we move along here traders what we can see here is that remember in last week's video follow the gold above the gold we're looking for longs and by the way above the trending gold you're looking for longs below the trending gold you're looking for shorts so you may have chosen to take uh, a few scalps here um, of course we've got what we call uh, traders we've got 34 B's here but what we can see over on the right what's happening with our two main EMAs on the anchor we can see they're becoming intertwined so we can see here that this is a danger zone this is not what we call the sweet spot you're out of a sweet spot the sweet spot is when you see uh, and of course all of your EMA is trending up or in a downtrend trending down let's go and have a look at a high time frame so that was the 89 tick so what we're now looking at and this is from um, uh, last week's trading so I already had these marked up uh, and this is on a 233 tick chart and it runs again it doesn't matter what market it is it truly doesn't matter because the same geometric patterns appear in all markets okay if you're a day trader and if you're trading it in this case oil on a 233 as I mentioned over a few hours most trading days you're going to have three or four of these sweet spots set up this is all you need now are you in trading to gamble or are you in it to make serious money if you're in trading to make serious money look for the sweet spots just trade them now for an example I run a live educational room one of the challenges in the, in the live room as I point out to traders if you're trading counter trend trade trades taking CT trades you quite often miss then the trend trades why because by the time you get stopped out of your counter trend trade the with trend trade is already well under underway so if you want to be seriously wealthy from trading stick with the trend trades until you're consistently profitable anyway going on a bit of a rant there but I just wanted to mention that up so mention that so note the sweet spot and this is a comment from last week so here we had 21 B's we've got 34 B's we had uh, 34 B's again but the point here is look at the right at my anchor what can you tell me about the EMAs they're trending down now once again if you trade Forex if you trade stocks you just need to adjust the time frames of course now what is important uh, and by the way traders if you're trading range the combination is very different I use a time frame approximately three times higher there's a combination that I use now the three times higher does not work on range we use a different formula but it's not traders you can set it up you can it's not rocket science trading shouldn't be rocket science traders as I say to 
every trader and every webinar I've been in this business for close to 25 years now as I say don't go out and buy a bunch of indicators save the money for your trading account traders because as you can see here the very best trading once you learn the right entry techniques just trade with in the direction of your anchor chart the trend is your friend and when you start to trade these pullback get a pullback trend continuation pullback trend continuation look at my anchor chart what direction is it it's screaming down okay so trend for it trend continuation trend continuation trend continuation okay so yes one of the tech and by the way uh, for my members that are watching this look for your t20 on your anchor chart so once you get a t20 and let me just uh, pull that back for my members uh, where are we here let me just show I just want to point this out to my okay so here we've got here is a t20 right here when you get the t20 now here yes you had a lower high okay so this is a 34b and a lower high so it qualifies nicely all right so you got had a lower low um, then you had a lower high and of course that's how you tell when you're in a trend generally speaking a series of lower highs series of lower lows or higher highs and higher lows so if you wanted to be really conservative wait until you have a t20 on your anchor chart okay now one of the secrets of why this works so one of the actually let me move the road secrets one of the reasons it works of course is when you're trading a 610 generally speaking your stops a lot larger your targets got to be a lot larger what we're really doing on the entry chart on the EC is we are scalping the market and as you know you only need to scalp three or four of these six to seven eight tick trades a day and you're doing you've got a very very nice lifestyle and how do you get those wait for the sweet spot so traders I've covered a lot of information in a short period of time here uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do even better still for $197 you get my entire program I, I give you full email support there are weekly Q&A sessions there are now actually I have to tell you this and don't be frightened by this we now have over uh, 280 videos because we do updates we do um, uh, Q&A sessions there's um, uh, on every setup we have there's probably two or three how-to videos etc but you don't need to learn them all you focus on just two or three strategies as I say if you're a GP or if you know a GP who earns the big money the GP or the specialist okay your local practitioner looks after somebody that needs a couple of stitches and maybe he's got a cold or the surgeon the surgeon is on the big bucks he's a specialist so traders when it comes to day or swing trading become a specialist master two or three strategies following the trend using an anchor chart and following the goal and I promise you traders it will have a massive positive effect to your bottom line when it comes to trading thank you for watching and hopefully you watch my next recording